Welcome to my channel Swift Lab. On this tutorial, I will show how to insert, update, delete, charts in SQL Server database using connection string. Start Visual Studio. Click on File, New, Project, Yes, Windows Form Application, Location Z, My Test Project Folder. Name the application, I just put the application name is Test Crude, F, Test Crude underscore F. Click on OK, OK. This is the form, default form, Form 1. Now I'm going to design this form with uh, three text box control and four button control to perform insert, update, delete, charts operation. Uh, first of all, I'm going to add some label control to define the uh, text box. Okay, now first level is ID and name and age. The three label control it's uh, looking very small, so I make it a bigger so that it's looking uh, perfectly. Okay, now in the header, I just write insert, update, delete, charts in SQL. Okay, title uh, size uh, font size is 20 and font bold is true. Okay, now uh, I'm gonna add text box from the toolbox to add text box uh, go to the toolbox and just uh, drag the text box from the toolbox to you in the form application and font size is 14 okay yeah, I just copy paste to reducing time I just added three text box text box 1 text box 2 text box 3 text box 4 and a button control uh, the uh, button this button I will uh, perform the insert operation I will insert data in SQL using connection string okay the back color of this form is uh, yes okay and the button back color yes now get the button click event yes add server explorer to go to menu click on server explorer there is no server explorer yes server explorer is added now just right click and add connection sorry uh, i am just adding uh, creating an ask us about database if you have already created database then you can just uh, connect now i am just uh, Select the server name and the database name. I just created the database name my test DB. Click on OK. And now I'm gonna add a table. Right click on a new table. ID, ID is data type integer and name and worker. Is float. Is it will float will allow this model. Okay, now ID is primary key save the name of this table is the user tab i will insert and update delete all the operational perform uh, in user tab table now there is no record in this table go to the form and button click event now sql connection and now i'm gonna connect with database using connection string Okay, SQL connection con equal to new SQL connection. You should add namespace using system.data.sql client. Yes, the namespace is added now. Uh, where you will get the connection string? To get the connection string, first of all, just select the database and go to the property window, and you can see uh, the connection string data source. Uh, just copy the connection string and paste it in the uh, SQL connection. Double quotation, yes, paste it there. This is the connection string. Now it's connected with my database. Now I'm gonna perform the uh, insert operation. In that case, SQL command cmd equal to new SQL command. Here at the SQL command to perform insert operation in SQL Server database. This is simple. SQL command is insert into my table name is user tab 
and value is uh, column name column or uh, id name is the first column is id second column is name at the rate of id at the rate of name and at the rate of is from where the get it uh, id name is id from text box 1 name from text box 2 and is from text box 3 in that case i have to declare the text box cmd dot parameter dot add with value i uh, at the rate of id id from text box 1 you know that the id is integer data type yes the id is integer data type so i have simply text box is string type in that case barcode type in that case you should convert it to integer integer dot parse text box one dot text but name is string type so no need to convert it to integer or anything just name is text box two dot text i just go to reducing time you can hopefully you can perfectly understand it okay the age is the float data type in that case you should uh, convert it to double because it will allow decimal okay textbook three dot text finally oh first of all you should uh, open the connection sql connection con dot open just write con dot open it will open okay now cmd dot execute non query Executed non query used to insert update delete in SQL server using connection string. Finally, after submitting, after inserting a record, it will display a message. Now, to display the message, just write message box dot show message box dot show successfully inserted. What message you are writing here after? Inserting record, it will display the masses successfully. Save just debug. Yes, now ID one name Michael is 25. Insert successfully saved. Yes, now check in the database table. Just execute. Yes. One Michael is 25 is added. Now I'm gonna add a button control to update record in SQL Server database using connection string. Change the text of this button update. Go to the event, uh, click event, double click. You can get the click, click event by uh, double click. Change the background of this button by update uh, a bit red. Okay. Now I just copy the connection if you use the if you put this connection out of the event then no need to call in each event okay now SQL command I'm just writing update command in this button in this click event okay update command is just update user tab user tab table name update user tab yes set name equal to name at the rate of name I'll declare later and a is equal to at the rate of a's where id equal to at the rate of id I just declaring variable local variable cmd dot parameter dot add with value uh, just copy from the above uh, event simple okay everything is just change the masses after uh, perform the update operation it will display the masses successfully updated execute debug okay id 1 now the name Michael age is 25. I'll change it uh, the name from Michael to Charu Khan and age is 55. That's successfully updated. Okay, now just execute. You can see, yes, it's 
updated the record is successfully updated now id is primary key and primary key cannot be updated you cannot update primary key column you can update another column uh, according to the primary key column and i'm going to add another button control to perform delete operation change the text of this button delete and change the back color i go to the click event here i will perform the delete operation using as uh, connection string okay as is well i just copy paste the uh, connection connection string and then now sql command cmd equal to new sql command i'm just writing the sql command command is delete user tab user tab is table name delete user tab where this is very simple where id equal to at the rate of id so we have to declare only id cmd dot parameters dot add with value at the rate of id equal to integer dot first text box one dot text okay done now just cm cmd dot execute non query finally I'll display the masses message box dot show successfully deleted close the connection con dot close okay now just debug oh it's displaying an error or something. oh sorry i forget to put the semicolon okay done now there is a record was sharuk khan is available now just put one click delete successfully deleted and the record is deleted execute yes there is no record it was a single record and i also deleted it and now it's deleted okay now i'm gonna add some record to check whether the button is working well or not yes one tom 70 is added to kim 30 it's also successfully saved okay now just execute yes tom and kim are added now I'm gonna update one Tom to Michael successfully updated and the second record to Kim 30 I just delete the record to and update the first record see yes it's updated okay now i'm gonna add another button control to uh far from the charts operation uh, to load data in grid view data grid view from sql survey database okay change the button back color now go to the click event yes as usual copy the connection string i just uh, use the connection string in each event because if someone see one uh, event uh, then you cannot uh, you cannot get the connection string from where i uh, call the connection string there. that's why okay now just write the command uh, to load data in data grid view in that case my command is select a star from user tab yes command is done now just sql data adapter use sql data adapter di equal to new sql data adapter color cmd okay now data table dt declare a data table new data table okay now fill the uh, da i mean sql command in dt da dot fill dt finally data grid view 
oh i didn't add a data kit in my form so first of all i have to add the data kit view in the form windows form application add a data kit view to display the data from database just drag the data kit view control from the toolbox to and drop it to your form now just to write data kit view one dot data chute okay okay not done now just execute debug yes just click on charts there is only one record and it display in the grid view now i'm gonna add another record to tom age 70 insert another record click on charts yes it's added the name is c john age 25 insert yes the record is also inserted now i am gonna okay now i'm gonna show you uh, how to use clause to charge data in data grid view in that case i am just using a higher clause where id equal to at the rate of id in that case you should declare the id at the rate of id so as usual cmd dot parameter dot add with value at the uh, at the rate of id equal i integer dot first type to one dot text the id will get from the type to one dot text okay just yes two yes it displayed second display third what i am charging